money gon' fuck me. Like it here. This is Caleb coming to you guys with another. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Banger video, man. Now, as you guys can see from the title, man, today's video is gonna be a banger. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it, man. Let's go. So, as you guys know, man, I'm in California. So, you know, I gotta add my boy Trio to the video, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi. Alright, so as you guys can see from the title, man, today's video is gonna be a how to dress, man. Now, I know you guys want to see this video a lot because I, when I ask you guys on my Instagram, what video should I film? A lot of you guys say how to dress, clothing pickups, how can I wear my sneakers, all the other stuff, man. So today, we'll be teaching you guys how to dress with your sneakers. As you guys know, man, I have a pretty different style, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna teach you guys how to dress my style, and then he'll teach you how to dress in his style, man. So that's pretty simple. We have two different sneakers. Now listen, if you guys want a bonus outfit or a bonus sneaker on how to dress with it, drop a like on this video we need 5,000 likes on this video man if you guys want to see a bonus outfit from me and my boy Trio, man so without further ado you ready i don't want to do a bonus outfit let's get to it man let's go <laughs> All right, guys, so my first outfit is going to be with these boys right here, man. Now, these are the classic green Jordan 4s. Now, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, I did post this outfit on my Instagram. So, go ahead and follow the kid at the Life of Cash case somewhere right here or right here. But without further ado, man, we're going to throw these to the side. And I'm going to show you guys the outfit. Sorry, Trio, I'm going to have to cover you up. But, boom, right there is the outfit. Now, I wore a Funkadelic shirt, which is over there. Then, I wore some Vivian Westwood chains. I wore Vivian Westwood earrings. And then, I wore a It's Father Don pair of pants. And I wore the classic green 4s. Now, the reason why I decided to wear the classic green because obviously, you know what I'm saying, green, green, you know what I'm saying, goes with a shirt. And I feel like since since the classic greens are kind of old, I wanted to match that vintage feel with the shirt. That's why I paired the vintage shirt with a vintage pair of classic green fours. Now, if you don't have a pair of vintage fours or like a pair of beat retro type fours, if you have like a new pair of fours, like the, you know what I'm saying, the brand, probably match it up with something a little bit new. But I wanted to make sure, you know what I'm saying, the classic greens had that vintage feel up top, not just down low. So yeah, man, that's the first fit. Not that much to speak on it, you know what I'm saying? I just want to match the whole vintage feel. It's kind of a vintage Vintage fit in my pen. I've said vintage so many times. Overall, it's a nice fit. Rate it down 1 through 10. You know what I'm saying? In the comment section below. I think it's a 10. Without further ado, now it's Trio's turn. Let's go. All right, guys. So for my shoe, I have the up tempos. You know what I'm saying? Now, to be honest, I like the outfit itself more than the actual shoes. I feel like with some Air Forces, with anything else, you know, you can style out with this. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about right here. Cash, you're trying to look light skinned, but they can't see you no more. Hopefully, you edited the video right and you know. Yeah. Anyways, as you guys can see, that's the outfit right there. Now, I do really like it, and his camera did it justice. We took it off his camera because it just makes the outfit look so much more better. You know, the quality is all there. Everything is there, man. But to be honest, like I said, this outfit is all Burberry at the top. That's the kind of the look I went for, and because this is tan and white, that's kind of the, you know, the theme colors for Burberry. You know, now, I know they have their own type of shoes. I see Blueface wear it all the damn time, you know what I'm saying? And to be honest, I feel like either that or the Air Force Ones, the tan Air Force Ones would have went better with this outfit. Now, you know what I'm saying? You could do your own little thing. Like I said, this is designer, so if you don't really have that type of stuff a great champion jacket will work just as good for this man now and just for the belt you know what i'm saying if you don't have that then just throw any type of belt on because honestly i'm not a belt person that's like one of my only designer belts i think i have a gucci one but let's not flex too hard man <laughs> why am i doing that but yeah, man, honestly, not much to say about this outfit. It is really nice, in my opinion. I do like the way it looks. But yeah, man, not much to say about this outfit. It is really fire. Cash, what are you thinking about it? I want your, you know, your opinion. You're very different when it comes to dressing. So how do you feel about this outfit? All right, guys, it's my turn. Let's go. All right, guys, so getting into my outfit, man, I'm wearing these shoes right here. Now, obviously, everybody knows what these are. Man. Hi, these Beast are Alert! Everybody knows what these are, man. These are off-white UNC Jordan 1s. Now, these are very, very beautiful. I'm not going to lie. But obviously, you know what I'm saying? You guys can see it right here. We're going to shut those to the side. We're going to get to the outfit, man. So, sorry, Trill. You're laughing right now, but you're about to get covered up. So, boom, right there. He's trying to dodge it, but my editing is too superior. So, obviously, you can't see him. Anyways, man. All right, so getting to the outfit, man. As you guys can see, man, I'm wearing a little bit of a hype beast outfit. Now, I know you guys like when I wear hype beast stuff, and you guys like when I wear not so hype beast stuff. So, I want to make that perfect balance. So, again, this video is not about designers. A sense of style is better than having any name brand, man. So, again, if you do not have any Babe, any Supreme, any Off-White, that's perfectly fine. And then I'm wearing a Supreme shirt underneath. Now, again, you doesn't have to be Supreme. You can have a regular orange shirt that you got from Mall, Zoomies, Packs, and anything like that. So, again, that's a regular orange Supreme shirt. You got a Babe hoodie on. Vivian Westwood up top. Again, you want to always accessorize with their outfits. If you have any rings, earrings, chains, necklaces, anything, man, make sure you guys throw those on because those will complete your outfit and make it not look as basic. You know what I'm saying? Complimented. So, right. Down low, I have 
have the navy blue shorts. Now, the reason why I wore navy blue shorts is because I didn't want to wear black and I didn't want to wear white or like orange or anything. I think navy blue was like the perfect medium because the outfit really doesn't match. It looks proportional and it goes together. Now, those shorts are not designer at all. Those shorts are from Walmart, man. That's how easy it is. So you guys can go to Walmart, get those little shorts right there, man. These are actually swim trunks, but I make them look like shorts. So yeah, man, those are those. Then going down low, as you guys can obviously tell, man, I have the Jordan 1 off-white UNC colorway. Now, you do not need this shoe. I'm going to say this right now. You do not need to drop a $1,000 band on some off-whites just to make your outfit look better, man. It will look perfectly fine with Air Force 1s, regular Jordan 1 UNCs, anything that's baby blue or has like a nice summer vibe to it, it will look good with, man, because this is like a summer vibe outfit. So yeah, man, that's that. If you guys enjoyed that. You know what I'm saying? Rate it down below. Again, man, this outfit doesn't match, but it does look proportional with the colors and everything, man. So that's that. Now it's Trio's turn. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's go. <laughs> no. All right, guys. So for my next and final shoe, because I do not feel like doing a bonus one, man. I don't believe you guys like the video enough. Got cash. You can, uh, yeah, you guys need saying? to like the video. Like, like the video. Like, what are you doing? Just like the video. Like, right now, video, like, we've like took the video. so like, many takes, yes, guys. You guys do not understand how long <laughs> it's been taking us to film this video. So please just drop a like a video on our Facts. sake for editing. We please. haven't done an indoor. An indoor? We haven't done a. <laughs> <laughs> what is exactly, it called? A sit-down video is so down long, video. bro. All right, but no, for real, man. For my next outfit, it is I'm styling out the UNC 11s, man. I almost caught them the UNC ones, but it's okay. Um, so here's the outfit right here. Cash, your face is no longer there. Still there, but the picture is in front of it. Um, okay, cringe, right? Okay. Now, as you guys can see, I did wear like a North Face top. I'm pretty sure everybody can get that. You know what I'm saying? North Face isn't necessarily too expensive. You know what I'm saying? It can be if it's like North Face X this or you know, you know what I'm talking about, like how with Carhartt is with Jordans and stuff. You know, it's not too expensive, and that's just a basic hoodie. You know what I'm saying? And it really matches this really well. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of people in my my comments ask how I kept these so icy. To be honest, just don't wear them that much. That's all I can tell you guys. Or just so this outfit to me is kind of like really casual, but at the same time, I really like it. You know what I'm saying? I like it more than the last one, believe it or not, even though it's not all designer, not all that stuff. I just think I know, I don't know, man. Just something about baby blue that just really hits different. You know what I'm saying? And then with the packs and jeans, yes, they are packs, and you know, I'm sorry, not everybody can be cash, get some crazy ass motherfucking undercover jeans or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that is my outfit. Nothing much more to say about that. To be honest, you should be able to get every single piece that's there. You know, them is packs and jeans. Jordan 11's North Face hoodie. That's it, my guy. So, um, yeah, man. Anyways, guys, it's my turn. Let's get straight to it, man. Let's go. Hey. All right, guys, so my bonus outfit. Now, hopefully you guys did like the video because I told y'all to like the video Stop. for this outfit. Like it right now. Right. But with my bonus outfit, man, we are wearing the Balenciaga. Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> We're wearing the Balenciaga Triple S. Now, I know you guys don't like this shoe. And if you do like this shoe, thank you for understanding me. But these actually look fire on feet, man. So, again, man, with this outfit, we're wearing the Balenciaga Triple S, a.k.a. the Bricks, a.k.a. the Bonkers, a.k.a. the Ant Stompers, a.k.a. the Bonkers. Yeah, these are like a whole pound. But anyways, man, we're going to try it. <laughs> oh, <God> my. <laughs> oh, my God. That's my blinds, bro. Alright guys, so getting into this outfit, man, this is actually one of my favorite outfits, so Trio, you're gone, boom, I'm trying to dodge it, but he's really gone, you know what I'm saying, he's gone, trust me, <laughs> but with the outfit, I'm wearing a vintage Dennis Rodman t-shirt, now if you guys know who Dennis Rodman is, he played for the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan, he's a very, very great defensive player, man, do your research, man, he's a GOAT, so yeah, man, I'm wearing a vintage Dennis Rodman tee, this shirt is absolutely fire, man, and then I got the Vivian Westwood chains already on, man, y'all know how I feel about Vivian Westwood, one of my favorite brands for accessories, so yeah, man, I'm wearing the chains, and then I got a pair of Walmart shorts on. Yeah, these are Walmart shorts. Not have to be designer. The shirt's not even designed, y'all. The only thing I got on that designer is the Balenciagas and maybe the chains. You know what I'm saying? The chains are kind of expensive. But the Balenciagas are like 900 But I mean, that's the only thing that's expensive that I got on. So listen, if you guys want to replicate this outfit, you can, bro. It does not have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be designer. You don't have to wear Balenciagas. This shirt will look perfectly fine with like a pair of Yeezys or something. Like something that's a or feeling. <laughs> But yeah, man, this outfit is actually fire. This is one of my favorite outfits that I've ever put together, man, because it has that retro -y feel to it, but also has that sporty feel to it, because obviously, like, the vintage for the retro, but then the Balenciagas for, like, the sporty type look, you know what I'm saying? But I really do love this outfit. So again, you guys like it, write it down below, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go over too much, but just know I kind of balanced out the colors from the Balenciagas to the vintage shirt, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of balanced both worlds, you know what I'm saying, with the vintage and the retro. So, so basically, guys, whenever you're making an outfit, make sure you guys just make sure proportions are right. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, the theme is always said whenever you're making an outfit don't just put something on just to throw it on make sure there's actually like a theme behind what you're wearing so i wanted to go for like a vintage sporty look so obviously i wore the vintage shirt and then for the sporty look i wore the balenciagas which actually kind of fits the vintage look a little bit man all about proportions just make sure it actually goes together don't wear like you know what i'm saying balenciagas with like skinny jeans and like a flannel or something because obviously those are two different type of styles so you know what i'm saying you just want to make sure everything is perfectly balanced and actually it's not as easy as it looks if you guys want to know how to make sure things are perfectly balanced in your outfit 
outfits, man. You can go back in the beginning of this video and look at <laughs> and look at all our other outfits because that's what we're teaching you guys how to do today. So again, man, that's the last outfit. Now let's cut to the outro, man. Gang, gang, gang. Who cuts to the outro? I know, no. And that's gonna be the end of the video. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that's the end of this video, man. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. This took forever. We've literally been sitting in this chair for like an hour, almost an hour and a half. So if you guys, you know what I'm saying, feel free just to drop a like on this video. It goes a long way. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell. Make sure you guys click the thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button with the bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Man, we're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. I'm trying to post videos every single day. So expect a video tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to post basically weekly, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I suck at posting a lot. So Again, man, if you guys did enjoy it, give it some feedback. Rate the video, comment, like. Rate subscribe. the video. Yeah, just comment, like, all right, bro. I can't talk right now. I it's been one of those kind of days. Yeah, I will see y'all in the next video, man. I love y'all. Peace. Hey, at least the video was genuine. Hell yeah.